So we uh, up on this gauge here, you can't see it because the light's on, but uh, we noticed um, whenever we fed our fish, um, the next day we would wake up and the flow rate of this pump would drop by 10 gallons an hour. And, uh, and that's from this Arduino that has a flow meter in line and it's measuring the, the flow rate. And so we noticed we would feed him, go to bed, wake up, and it was flowing 10 gallons an hour less the next day. And so uh, already the first benefit of automating the fish tank by just monitoring the water flow, we can tell when the canister is dirty and needs to be cleaned. Um, so I just did that. I just cleaned the canister and you probably won't be able to see it because the light on my flash thing. It still says 31.70 gallons an hour, which is what it was before I cleaned it. So that indicates that the canister is still dirty. So um, the last time I cleaned this, I noticed that this black tube, this corrugated tube stuff, there was a lot of junk. And then I just I just turned the pump back on. You might see a little part stuff floating in the water. Um, so the flow rate is likely being reduced because there's gunk in the pipes. So I'm going to go clean that and then we'll see what the flow rate is after. The Arduino all hooked up and the pump is off but I cleaned the hoses. So let's go ahead and turn this back on. Let's see what it reads. It's going to work out some bubbles. Oh, looks like there's just too much air in there right now. Let me prime it real fast. Why don't you look at the fish. A lot of debris just coming out from the cleaning. That'll all get cleaned up. And it sounds like it's running. Oh, still working out some bubbles. Come on, let's go. Let's go, come on. Yeah, it's still working out some bubbles. There it goes. Now it's on full blast. Now let's check it. 82, 84. 84. There you go. 61. That's where it hit a bubble. 84 gallons an hour. So, yep, it was just the gunk that was in the pipes. And it cut the flow in over half. Alright.